Mastering ordinal numbers in dates. Make your English time perfect. Hello learners. Welcome to our new lesson on ordinal numbers in English. Today, we will be diving deep into how these numbers are used in dates, a crucial aspect of English language communication. With lots of examples and practice exercises, you'll get the hang of this in no time. Before we jump into dates, let's make sure we understand what ordinal numbers are. In English, we use ordinal numbers to show position or order. They include numbers like first, second, third, and so on. They're called ordinal because they indicate an order or rank. Now, onto the main topic using ordinal numbers and dates. In English, when we write or say the date, we often use ordinal numbers. For instance, we say, January 1st, April 15th, October 31st, and so on. Notice the Saint, ND, Road, and TH at the end of these numbers. These endings are key to understanding and using ordinal numbers in English dates. To really make this clear, let's look at some examples. June 3rd, 3rd. December 12th, 12th. February 22nd, 22nd. You'll notice the endings, road, th, and nd, respectively. The road, th, nd, and saint endings are used with different numbers. Saint is used with first, 21st, 31st, and so on. Nd is used with second, 22nd, and so on. Road is used with third, 23rd, and so on. Th is used with all the other numbers. Fourth, fifth, 10th, 11th, and so on. Now, it's your turn to practice using ordinal numbers and dates. Let's look at some exercises. 1. Write out the date, September underscore underscore, 9. 2. Say the date, July underscore underscore, 25. 3. How would you write the date? March underscore underscore 15. Your answers should be 1. September 9th. 2. July 25th. 3. March 15th. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, try these exercises with other dates until you feel comfortable using ordinal numbers. There you have it. You now understand how to use ordinal numbers and dates in English. This will surely add more precision to your communication, especially when dealing with time-specific events. Keep practicing and you'll get more and more comfortable. As always, keep learning and keep exploring the beautiful world of English. See you in the next video.